Hi guys, Marley here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna have our August garden tour here in Zone 7, Kentucky. August is a very exciting month here in my garden because this is the time when my garden is exploding with harvest. Take a look at this, guys. These are my single stem tomatoes. The third batch of tomatoes that I planted. Look at all of this wonderful ripe tomatoes that are ready for harvest. In the beginning of the season, I had problems with blossom and rot, especially with my Roma and San Marzano tomatoes. But check this out. Look at this beautiful San Marzano tomatoes. No more traces of any blossom and rot. Look at that. Isn't this amazing? Ooh, lots of San Marzano tomatoes for my spaghetti sauce. Check out these pepper beds. This bell pepper looks so awesome. Look at that. Oh, this one has fallen over because this plant is loaded with fruits. Look at all these bell peppers. And we have lots of bell peppers right here. See that? These are the giant Marconi peppers. Look at that starting to ripen we have some more ripe giant marconi peppers lots of green ones as well look at that jimmy nardello peppers Ooh, look at that guys there are so many look at all these amazing fruits some are ready for harvest lots of red ones behind that plant look at that this is the purple bell pepper look at these purple bell peppers Ooh, we'll have an amazing harvest this weekend for sure and the three-year-old jalapeno pepper is producing lots of fruits we've been harvesting from this plant and we have lots of new flowers as well. The cucumbers are climbing up the trellis. Here's some more cucumbers on the other side of this trellis. The strawberries are thriving very far from what they look like the last time I showed them in a video. Lots of zinnias. Beautiful, beautiful light pink zinnia flowers. More zinnias, guys. And check this one out. This zinnia plant has fallen over because of the rain, but look at what happened. It's still growing lots of flowers. I let the carrots go to seed. Look at all these beautiful flowers of the carrot plants. Wow. This is so amazing. Check this out. This raised bed is just exploding with carrots. It has some watermelons. A volunteer peanut plant. We have ginger, more tomatoes, green malabar spinach that has vined out. Look at where they're going. They're in the path now. Oh my goodness. They love the rain that we have been getting this past few days. And check out 
this arch trellis that has some chayote plants growing on both sides. The chayote plants are growing so good. Look at that arch, guys. Isn't that pretty? No fruits yet on the chayote squash because this is a cool weather plant. So hopefully here in the fall, we will see some flowers and some fruits from these vines. Talking about fruits, we have a few watermelon on this trellis as well. Crimson, red, watermelon, amazing. This is heavy. Like we have three fruits on one side of the trellis. There's one hiding down there. And ooh, here's another one on the other side of the trellis. Isn't that pretty? And look at all of these beans. The beans are just exploding. Like everything you see right here are beans all the way to the back lots of fruits this in here are the green beans these are the bush beans strike type i need to harvest them and the asparagus plants are growing really good another amazing thing is this wall this wall is white bitter melon so amazing it's my first time to plant white bitter melon and i would say that i'm gonna plant white bitter melons again next year look at all of this beautiful beautiful bitter melon fruits they're hiding behind the leaves so it's not hard to miss them next to the white bitter melon fence is my second batch of yard long beans check this out isn't that amazing it just started producing flowers and little beans oh my gosh i can't wait to harvest this yard long beans i planted two types in here red and the green type of course the red burgundy okra and one of my favorite the clemson spineless okra and here we have the orange watermelon that's almost ready and a pleasant surprise underneath all of these leaves a second fruit from the same plant I'm in the corn patch now and we have a few ears of corn that still need to be harvested. And look, a second batch of cucumbers that I planted just recently. And they have started producing. It's so amazing how succession planting works. And look at this, look at this, a white cucumber. The herb bed is doing great. Opal basil, Italian basil, rosemary, and cilantro. The dill from spring produced some seeds drop the seeds in the ground and check out this moringa plants lots of leaves that are ready for harvest the oregano has grown a lot bigger and we have the little thyme here underneath the oregano that I will probably transfer somewhere else so they will have more room to grow. This raised bed has the second batch of corn that I planted, mostly baby corn, 
and the decorative glass jam horn. They are at least six feet tall already. Isn't that amazing? And look at this. This is a jungle, guys. A jungle of sweet potatoes. Unbelievable. The sweet potatoes are now on the grass. Like, look at this. They have overrun everything that are growing near them, including my moringa and the beautiful zinnia flowers and marigolds. The eggplants are looking great. This one here needs staking because it has fallen over because of the weight of the fruits. Look at how many fruits are there in this single plant. And this one as well. This is called the Little Fingers Eggplant. And they're ready for harvest. The evening sun sunflower is still good. We have three in the garden and I want to show you this one, the first batch of bitter melon that I planted. Look at this. This is really good. We have lots of bitter melon that are ready for harvest tonight. Check this out. Ooh. My bitter melon plants love the rain. They are one of those plants that benefited the rain that we had last week. These are peanuts. I planted them a month late, but that's okay. My first frost date is about middle of October here in my area. So I'm still good. I think I can get some harvest before winter. Next is cantaloupe. Ooh, look at this cantaloupe, guys. I need to check if this is ready. It looks ready. It's brown and... Oh, actually, oh, look at that. It just came off the vine. Oh my goodness. We have a cantaloupe harvest today. That's so amazing squash plants this is the white scallop squash plant and eight ball zucchini over there they're not looking that great but they are producing here we have our butternut squash look at that we have more fruits right here through hand pollinating all of the fruits that i have in my butternut squash are from hand pollination. Check this out. This is the one that I hand pollinated yesterday. And there's another one right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in my next video.